Whoa! Yes, everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. Now, guess what we uh, have done here? We're in Warrington. It's been a day of highs and lows, and we went to the Uber Eats Award the other day, and uh, may maybe one of the area managers or whatever it is said um, we had a cracking video at Aros Kitchen somewhere else. And that reminded me, I had a look at their thing, and it's, they've got one here too. There we go. We've not been to this one. What we'd pop in? Can Come we just uh... slide around the van, look. Like ninjas. There it is. Aros Kitchen. Okay. If you weird. haven't seen the other video, this place is what I would describe as special. It's, it's the sort of food that you, number one, that we're proud to promote, etc. But, hey bro. How's it going? Well, mate, I'm yeah, no problem. Make fun of you. What do you think of this food? It's good, yeah? Very good, mate. Very good. How, How are, are you? Nice good, to meet you, my friend. Nice. Let's do it. Come on. We love this place. Yeah. I can't remember where the other shop is. Okay, uh, Auto's kitchen, eh? Where's the other shop? I can't remember. Newton Levillo? Yeah, that's the one. I might even take a picture with him before me, yeah? Yeah. The nice give you. We'll just do it, do a selfie one. A selfie, yeah. Yeah, man's trying to do an intro here, bruv. <laughs> a big fun yeah. here, you know. Hello. Can you pitch me, please? You're coming in hot. Whoa. <laughs> uh, been waiting for you. Wow, wow. today? Yeah. Oh, wow. I just got told then. Oh, wow. Yep. You've literally just got it now. Nice Thank one. you. Thank you. Later. Bye bye. Bye. A lot of energy. Wow. Um, bless her. Yeah, so we're, um, I'm so keen for this one today. Um, food was great. Let's see if this location is as good as the other one. But while it's in Warrington, it'd be, it would be rude not to, bro. Absolutely. Totally. All right, cool. Let's go and do it. Let's go and say hello. And I suppose the reason we're here is because of the Uber recommendations. If you want to get this stuff on Uber, you've got it on your phone and you live in Warrington. M make note. Let's let the food do the talking on that case, but... This kind of food though, you can... It travels well, doesn't it? Yeah. You've got like, uh... Like, burgers today. Oh, f*** me, you didn't run over there. Sorry, mate. Oh. I thought you sped up, what a f <laughs> what, what food doesn't travel well? Loads. Chinese. Chips. Fish and chips. Just F fish and chips is the worst. Just you got to go and pick that up. Steamy mess. Yeah, you have yeah. to go pick it up. Yeah. For sure. Terry, what food doesn't travel well, in your opinion? Fish and chips. No, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> and, and pizzas. They just steam in the just, box. Yeah. It will, it'll still be tasty, but you get lose all that crunch, don't you? It just turns into sog. Anyway, we're getting sidetracked. Yeah, come on, look at this. Look at this. This is like, this is what I'm saying, bro. It's like the ultimate scram. You've got like little sort of roast potatoes, mac and cheese, rice with shrimps and salmon. That's looking good. Yeah, is that a bit of your, up your alley? Yeah, for sure. These is this is one of those places that I would describe as not not normal. Like it's um, it's all coming back to me now. He had an amazing story as well. Come on. At the minute, I'm getting similar vibes to a uh, Scranman. Yeah, very similar. Mm -hmm. Very very similar. Yeah. yeah. Hello, mate. Oh, Looking yes, back. Yes, yes. Welcome back. I have to come back. I have to come back, man. You good? Yeah, man. Nice to see you. So is this, a, is this your uh, first shop or the second shop? This is the second one. Second one? Yeah, second one. So we opened this one because the other one was quite successful. So, so we um, we bumped into your Uber yeah. representative yeah, yeah, at the London Awards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it made me think. We nearly got there, man. We nearly yeah. got there. Yeah, yeah. We won. He, he was very um, very complimentary of you and the food. Yeah. Well, look, we saw it last time. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, we absolutely love it. So yeah. we're in Warrington. I'm yeah. just, we'll give you the insight. Yeah. We've one terrible piece of food today. That's so good. I'm relying on you to put back up the course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it all good, man. All good, all good. Um, all right, cool. What, what should yeah. we have? Uh, I mean, last time I think you missed out on the steak, and a lot of people noticed it. So did they? Yeah, I think. I, I don't think you offered me no steak. Bro. Nah, nah. <laughs> hey, the the people realised. Because I would have ordered the steak. Absolutely. Yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. yeah, percent. What, um, um, what could you have the steak with? Uh, we do, for example, a loaded steak and cheese box where we put all the mains and the sides in the box, drizzle some mozzarella cheese over it, put it in the oven. I'll be like a load of like oh, kind of like a big pie and get that. like rice or something. Else. Yeah, and then I'll do a couple of side dishes as well. Not too much. There's normal, normal food, yeah. but we just have yeah. something here. No problem. It's just for you. Yeah, that's what draws the food. Check, yeah, give us the big Terry. This is ter uh, Tyrone. Tyrone. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. keep calling him. <laughs> forgetting his, his real name is Ty uh, Terry, but we call him Tyrone. Right. He's the getaway driver. Gonna be kicks off. Just taking a while to get to the van, Terry. But once you do get in the van, 
Oh yeah. Yeah. Once I get there. Once you get to the start, yeah. <laughs> get some other stuff. <laughs> All right, brother. Let's do it. Right. Come on, man. It's nice to see you again. You too, man. But just quickly, but I think you told everyone last time. Anyone who hasn't seen this content, maybe I'll put a link to the first video uh, in the comments below. But give everyone your your just story quickly. It's really yeah. amazing. No worries. So uh, we started through lockdown. Me and my family, my mom, and bit by bit, members of families helped us to open our first shop. And then when we opened our first shop, we noticed like a lot of these areas are missing good food, where like you feel good after it, but especially like it doesn't break the bank. And at the same time, when you eat it, you don't think of it as a takeaway. You think of it, you just sat at the dinner table, having yeah. food with your family and our portions are huge as well. So that's why they always share with their children and everything. Uh, and then bit by bit, we've opened this Warrington branch now. The Witness branch is opening this week as well. So that's free in the space of wow. two years. You should be really proud of yourself. Yeah, it's, it's the people in my family in the end. That I love that. All happen. Yeah, you know how he just, just described that? That it still came back to me now. We, we go to a lot of yeah. places. And it's, that's exactly what it was. Like really like uh, wholesome, hearty food that... I showed you like, the picture outside the front, right? It it's just amazing, not like a normal yeah. takeaway. Like yeah. you're getting the same old packaged chips from mm -hmm. cookers, yeah, same yeah. old sauces, and making all their own stuff like salmon, wings, shrimps, yeah. steaks, little boxes. You just literally open your box and everything you need for dinner is in the f***ing box. No faffing around, no nonsense. Proper f***ing food. I, I love this sort of stuff. Love it. This is quickly becoming, and you've got that mad juice. Yeah, you? Yeah, man. <laughs> it's got, got 7,500 7, grams of sugar. Is it but good? It'll keep you up for three days, but it is good. <laughs> Can we get a few for the road? Terry, you'd love this. There we go. This is the AK juice. Come on, let's give that one. Can we have one? Yeah, of course. Crack. Let's give it a review of the juice. Have you got any sort of like pens in case you have a shock or anything? Yeah, I've got them in the van. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. That is fully leaded. Oh, that is fully leaded. <laughs> <laughs> when you have a bite of the food and then it, Wait, it kind it of balances oh. it out, washes it down. So like, that's all it is. Well, people that. know it's sugary, that's why. Now, but it's all the, all the punch juices well, are. Yeah, like, that's why they say so, so well. With this food, what you just said, it goes yep. the salty food. It's like having a can of Coke with drinks and it just hits in the right spot, yeah? Are you getting on with that? It's actually good. Yeah, I like it. Really good. Fresh, oh, fruity. Yeah. Of course, a lot of sugar, but great stuff. Wicked. Come on in, Brian. Should we get some food going? Mm. Quick uh, question. Do you mind if we film? I just want to see the magic happening. Do you no, mind if we film not. you playing it up? No, of course not. You Come in. in. Wicked. This is a big kitchen, by the way, man. Yeah, man. This is massive. A lot bigger than the other one. The other one was Look like... At that. The other one, this was the shop, basically. Really? Yeah. It looks huge. Oh, some goodness going on there, right? Ready for this. Look at this. This is, this is a leak. scrap. I'm looking forward to this. This is really good. All right, let's do it. So, preheat the grill, get a nice sear, some cornseed oil on it, lamb chops. As you can see, everything is dated. Yes. Make sure. So, only the freshest. This is our sirloin shredded steak. God, that smells incredible, man. Ooh. All we do is. I love that. There we go. That's not so good. <laughs> really is important to this. You get the sear and then you cook it evenly because if you just get the sear and cook it like that, it's going to mm -hmm. burn yeah. and all you're left with is just the skin really. So you're seeing it to like seal everything in it and then you cook it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right, we've used this one for the raw one. Mm -hmm. Switch over to the fresh one. Like that, it. When it's cooked, yeah. we don't use this one again for the cooked one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> What we do is with that, put it off separate from the meat mm -hmm. because we want that to cook on its own and eventually the fat oils 
will on the grill infuse into the flavor of the succulent sweet lamb already. Oh man. I might have water. <laughs> yeah. It also makes it easier to eat for customers because we've noticed like we really care about our customer when they open the box. It's not just about the taste but the comfort and the mm -hmm. easiness of eating because Sometimes people are put off just simply by they can't eat it That's the it. way they want to eat it. Not everyone fat, do they? You know? Exactly. So we always ask the customers as well if they would like the fat on or off. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. they tell me they want it off, I double check. Their are you, sure are because you sure? The fat, <laughs> the fat is really where it goes with the yeah. lamb chop. So if they don't want it, they don't want it. Of course. Yeah, yeah. So what we're doing now is we're scraping all the flavors that are burning, put it back into the meat. So that it ends up juicy like that. Oh, yeah. Some lovely biryani rice. Sometimes people get this on its own, because it's already got the mixed vegetables, pieces of boneless biryani as well, chicken. These are big portions. Yeah, 100%, that's all. That's all what we know about, really, the portions. You ain't going hungry if you're eating it. Nah, hundred percent, not hundred percent. Most of my customers take their food away, and I was gonna say, yeah. There's been customers that have been like telling me, oh, do you know if you sell it in smaller portions and it's still nice, people will come back and buy more. But that's not what we what we want to be known as. I like that, especially like these roasties here. Oh, now we're talking. And as I said before, like they literally, some people come and swap it out for this on the race. I bet. There we go. Go over to the steak. Obviously, can't forget these juices here. They're not to be scraped off the grill, they're to be put on the box. Oh, yeah. So we're scrape it like that. Just that extra little bit of flavor that. Just a little something, something. Yeah. Look at that. 100% pure mozzarella cheese out. Love them. Even though our hands are clean, always give customers our satisfaction. Yes. The camera is watching or isn't watching, we do our task. There we go, there's some mozzarella cheese on top. Now, instead of, say, for example, measuring exactly mm -hmm. how, I've told my staff members to always make it as if it's your own, because then they always add extra cheese, extra That's things. It, yeah. So make it as if you're making it for yourself, but then for a customer, because then you can guarantee it will be nice for them. I love that. It's looking good. Now what we do is open the oven, leave it in there for two to three minutes. Wicked. Wait for the cheese to melt. Awesome, bro, thank you. No, this looks good. It's the burritos. It have like a, it's like a baby. Oh look, he's doing toasting it up. Oh, puts a bit of the oil, a bit of the juice. Yeah, the gravy on there. Also, that toasts up, toasts up the, uh, the wrap as well. Not to see in place. Yeah, toast in place as well. Have you um, shout out to another creator? Have you seen the burrito, El Burrito Monster, that guy on TikTok that does burritos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He puts like a, a, a roast dinner in a It'll burrito and yeah, yeah. makes it into a beef wellington. He's really good. Go and check out his channel. Yeah, I've seen him literally pour full Chinese in the Yeah, full Chinese. He'll do one burrito and then wrap it in something else and do another, put that in a burrito. Like, we've driven uh, maybe like, what, a mile out of the town? Yeah. Next door to a garage, in the middle of the house of streets with no like shopping complex. It's literally, mm -hmm. feel like we're in a bolt on to the garage. Uh, this is where you find the spots. Slowly. The community driven spots. This is the food that makes these areas tick. Could you imagine if we had something like this growing up where we are? Oh, we had one shitty Chinese. I had a chippy. It's one chippy. Yeah, that was about it. Good luck. Yeah, you don't like it? Well, and even in our in our teens, and all we had then was like terrible kebab shops and frozen burgers, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Unless you were really lucky to live next to some famous institution, but I, I certainly wasn't, unfortunately. We got a Big John's. I think that is the worst. It's not Big John's is the worst. Get everything there though. Yeah, I mean, huge. Donuts, coffees, kebabs. Car service. Fish and chips. Yeah. Car services. You anything, yeah. No, you can't. House valuation, what do you want? Anything? That's what you want. Anything. Flights. Yeah. Anything. Insurance. Anything. Big John's, you are <laughs> shit. That is terrible. I actually met the owner of that. Of, we did a really bad review. 
of a Pigeons, and rightly so, it was a, it was a two out of ten, terrible, like really? sort of shiny bacon, yeah. <clears throat> and I met, I met him uh, once. He's a really nice bloke. Big John? No, not he wasn't Big John, but he uh, he was lovely, and I think he he just he just accepted it. To be honest, <laughs> he was a really nice man. I met him at another fish and chip review somewhere in Birmingham, I think. Yeah, I felt bad. Been food wash it, so I wouldn't be. What can you do? So this is a loaded shredded steak and cheese box. With potato, 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 mac and cheese, and rice. And rice, and then with mozzarella cheese on top, and then signature sauce. Jesus Christ. That's Phil, Philip. That's outrageous. Oh, okay. And then we're going to shink because it has to look nice as well as taste nice. I like that. You've just seen the goods. My excitement levels are building now. The anticipation is wild. Um, remember, if you don't want to come here and you live in Warrington, order on Uber Eats. Logo on the screen right now, somewhere. Around me now is a logo somewhere. Maybe even there, there, or there. Oh, there we go. Um, magic. Order it. Get it delivered. Big fan of Uber Eats. What? I thought, I forgot we had another. Man, what's in that, what's that then? This is gonna be the Matt Food Review box. No way, yeah. got our own box? Yeah, you got your own box. I'm so glad we're coming now. What? This is gonna be on the menu for two weeks and then we'll see how you it just goes. Just light it up like right that. Just, just like that. Oh. That's, hey, that's what you call taking an opportunity. I love that. Look at this. What you got on there? Salmon, shrimp, lamb chop. Yes, lamb wow. chops. Look at these potatoes, look. And a f***ing burrito, look at that. And with the mac and cheese, I've done a little twist for you as well. So I've got the mac and cheese that we serve normally. And then on that mac and cheese, I've a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of all spices. Cinnamon. Just I love to cinnamon. Give it that different, different taste for this box particularly. Wow. Right, could you see, can you see now? Thank you, by the way. Thank you so much. Can you um, see how good this is? Like? You just, you've got, get your pyjamas on, pour a pint of your favourite drink, click on your favourite box set, Disney film, adult, romantic entertainment if you need it. Oh. <laughs> you get me? Mm. Pull up your little chair, get your knives and fork out and just get to work on this. You've got protein, fats, carbs, juice, flavors. That cinnamon has gone up my nose and into my bloodstream already. <sighs> that's, I think that's yours, mate. <laughs> so we've got, or should we, just, should we just, have it, just have a taste? Yeah. It's like you just get it for the end. Oh, actually, my mouth's actually sounded like yes. this is f***ing a joke. Imagine this, just rocking up at your house. Yeah. Get yeah. some sweaty kebab or some actual real food. Yeah. Like real, unprocessed, clean-ish. Um, I was talking about that like it's a salad, but I went down there actually. It's not quite a salad, but... No. Box, yeah. Oh, quick question. What's the yeah. price point on these? That is £17 in yeah. store. And this one? And this one will be... A fiver. <laughs> I love you a lot, but we got to stay in business. <laughs> twenty-five pound. Go on, Big special guy. offer. Because normally go. we sell it without the burrito and everything for twenty-five. So, just for you. Let's do it. Um, so I'm going to eat this one, believe it or not. Terry, you could be the, the first official. Sorry, Tyrone, you could be the first official taster of the, of the FRC box. Mm. That's quite the honour, Terry. Yeah, he's Toron. Honor. Yeah, well, he's, he's an honourable man. Mm. Please, can I have one of your um, <laughs> juices? Yes, of course you can. Right. Um, I'm just so glad we're here, mate. Honestly, this is the difference, right, between someone who gives a shit and where else we've been today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just the, the intent from this. Yeah, it's just, I just vibe with it so hard. Terry, could you... Um, Lead us off with the mac and cheese. With the mac and cheese. Cinnamon mac and cheese. Do you, what are you saying? I'm a, I'm a fan. I have cinnamon on a lot of things. It's good, it's good, isn't it? I put cinnamon on my chicken. Do you? Mm. Yep, paprika wow. and cinnamon. Well, I'm going in as well. Look at this, bro. Come on, look at this. Jesus. Steak, mac and cheese. Cheers, everyone. This is food. What are you saying? I'm not a great lover, or I haven't been a great lover of cinnamon, but with the mac and cheese, wow. Mm. It is made such a... I can smell it from it. Oh, yeah. spice in that as well. Got the AK juice. <laughs> <laughs> That's special stuff, bro. That's probably illegal in about at least 15 countries. You reckon? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Um, right. I think it's gonna be hard to eat all of this on camera, but. It's tucking. What, what, what's in there? What's in there? I've got steak, rice, mac and cheese. 
potatoes? Mmm. Like rice potatoes? Kind of, I think. Just remember as well, because everyone flips their lid on the price point, you end eating that by yourself. That is a two or three person job, so divide these boxes, unless you wanted to eat for a real treat, if you're really hungry. If you're a hungry boy then. But Sorry. look what it tastes like, it's got a full burrito, like. <laughs> full burrito, salmon, chops, yes. Prawns, everything in there. cheese, everything. I'm vibing with this, bro. What's this? Some food is, I know there's a lot going on in the box, but it's all simple stuff. Mm -hmm. It's not for some like, sort of mad curries or, the steak is delicious. The rice and steak, look at this, like proper rice. With cheese running through it, look. Try the potatoes, oh. They're good. They're really, really, really good. Ted, would you mind if I had a bit of uh, lamb chop? From the uh, official FRC box, now available on Uber Eats. I love it. If I remember right, these were absolutely banging. Lamb chops are my secret. Never said this on Obsession. camera. Obsession. Really? Yeah, if I'm ever feeling sad, I go down to my local cafe and have lamb chops mash, <laughs> mint sauce, and gravy. They are. Sensational. Well, cooked to perfection. Mm. Like butter. There's a little spicy mayo on there. I honestly think that this type of place, that wholesome, hearty takeaway, is the future. You've got diversity <clears throat> with just the right amount. They're not doing pizzas and fish and chips with this stuff. It's just like, no, we, we, know, we know what lane we're in. And I honestly believe it's got such a, such like influence too, about popular current culture mm -hmm. with food. For sure. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It's very current. It's, the, they, it's like they know exactly what people want and they're just giving them. Right, man. Good food, cooked well. I've uh, pretty much every mouthful been uh, just happy. I think we've got to try the burrito, Terry. Mm. Do you like salmon? Salmon is one of my favourites, and that oh. is done. Oh, it's a bit perfection. Oh, I want to make a crispy bit at the end, so excuse me, excuse me. Do you eat the skin, Terry? Yeah, you've got to. Oh my god. Mm. Full of protein, too, good oils. Pretty sure we put that in the air fryer, by the way. Mm. Did you get that out of the air fryer? Yeah, we couldn't help, but that's how we could. That's how we do more. But that is. How we get it better than how we eat. Like it. That's, that's why you come out to order from an expert, though, isn't it? Like, oh, yes. You want to treat yourself? I'm going to try. Go on, just get in there. Just pick it up. Dive in, Terry. Oh, look at that. Really eating good for days there, aren't we? Go have a look like that one, Terry. Mmm. That wouldn't have been in my box, but now it is. Mm -hmm. Get some spicy sauce. Got some slap sauce over the top of that. Link in the description. Never tried it. Never tried it. But this is not over spicy. You've got like flaky shredded chicken, loads of flavours from rice, and it's got that, those oils mm. from the chicken, the fat, the, the, the juice. This is like the ultimate scrambles, mate. It is. Can you imagine me on like a Sunday, hungover, maybe just ordering this in? Oh. Harry Potter's on the team. Seven yeah. strokes in, you're desperate for food. Well. Wow. There's only one place I'm ordering. We delivered to Cambridge. One second. I was going to say, we delivered to Birmingham. When, uh, what's, where, Newton the Willows? Yeah. Where, where is that in comparison to here? It's literally 10 minutes round down the road from here. Mm. 
And then the witness one is opening this week is about 15 that way. All right, cool. So I'm just saying, witness is opening this week. Yeah. Warrington and Newton the Willows. Newton the Willow or the Willow? No. No Willows. Posh name, by the way. Very posh. Wow. Shout out to all you guys. Mm. Um, you've got three stores. You can get it. Anywhere outside of that, you're traveling, unfortunately, but you are going to collect. Yeah. Can you deliver to Birmingham? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have come from Birmingham and like, you know, to pick up like a big tray for the family. I can believe it. Do they really? Pack is still really well and they could put it in the oven if it gets a little bit cold, but they wow. can put really. This is the sort of food that will actually travel. Yeah, yeah. Now people travel all the time from like Sheffield, Leeds, sometimes wow. London. Wow. This would be like eating a bolognese the next day. It'll be better. Even better. Yeah, but Everything when it just, there, yeah, yeah. it's like marinating itself. Because oh. people nowadays, they'll, they'll, they'll make a plan about going to a city, they'll figure out where they want to eat, and like, so they don't mind coming a long way because they make a whole day out of it. I love that. This is brilliant, by the way. Nice one. That was a steak, all right. Yeah. Now I'm a few mouthfuls in as well. This stuff, just like, it's like the secret sauce. Yeah, okay, yeah. Not too much. No, it's beautiful. That, now, now, that doesn't feel, now, now, now. Now that, as well now, as. that doesn't feel uh, sweet anymore. Yeah. It just feels like, like a really nice juice with the food, just like pops off. Because this has got a lot of spice going on as well. A lot of spice and that just like balances it all out. Mesmerizing. Simple food that I just like gas with. Right. Should we gonna do a score? I think so. You happy? Mmm, come on. Let's get, get. Right. Okay, people, it's time for a conclusion, a score. So I've just checked my phone. I gave this a 9.2 last time. And the more places I go, the more I understand how unique this type of place is. Quality ingredients, I've said it a hundred times, scrannable, like delicious food that you really want to eat. And do I feel like improvements have been made since last time? I think so. I think it, when I walked out of the shop there, I, was, I thought I'd, I, I felt like it was maybe even a, maybe even right up there. In the first video, I deliberated between is this elite food or not. I said high eights, low nines. I think I gave it nine point two, right? I think that then maybe we're maybe a couple of years down the line now, more established. The jungle juice is just as, as good as it ever was. <laughs> Makes you want to go to a fucking sugar rave. Um, electric car. Jeez, so dangerous. You see it creeping up on yep. us there. Mm -hmm. Just whistling away. Horace Kitchen in Warrington. Time for a score. I'm going big. I'm going 9.6. A, a, a huge, when you're getting up to that end of the spectrum, a huge jump forward. Uh, Probably the only reason it's not higher than that is just because of the nature of the type of food. It's very difficult for that ever to get more than that, I, I believe. However, that is an A++++ A++ top stuff. And remember, if you're in Warrington or Newton Le Willows or the other places open in, put it on screen now if you can. Yep, that one. Um, get it on Uber Eats or turn up and get it yourself. But um, what a turn out for the books. Well, I, well, maybe one of my favourite reviews. We've got Tyrone in there, stuffing his He's face. He's scranning, yeah. He's scranning like a thirsty dog at a puddle. He's going in. Um, we just wanted to take a moment and just come outside and sign out. But if you've enjoyed this video today, I certainly have. Thanks for being here. We love you, honestly. Our YouTube journey now is really kicking, kicking on. We're building some momentum and we're so close to the 100K subscriber mark, which has taken us five years. Five years to get to this point. So if, you, if you're happy, subscribe if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up. Let's go wild for this video. Let's try and do like 2,000 likes. 2,000 likes. Can we do it? I think we can do that. Yeah, I think we do it. Come on, can we do it, people? Just click the button. We'll definitely get more than 2,000 views, I hope. So if everyone likes the video, we're sweet. And on that note, thanks for watching, everyone. I love you all. God bless.